I've known Matt Getz professionally for more than two years now. The only way he can outspell an eighth grader is if he gets simple words like cat or dog, or if he cheats. I've worked for, with Kayla for several re weeks regarding her spelling. I have read Matt Getz's writing in the paper for years. I have chosen a couple of practice words for each based on their individual intellectual ability so that they can be familiar with the format. Okay, Kaylin, your first word is andrology. Andrology. May I have the language of origin, please? Greek. May I have the definition, please? A method or techniques used to teach adults. Thank you. Could you use the word in a sentence, please? Many educators believe that the principles of andro andragogy, andragogy advanced by Malcolm Knowles have great relevance to adult education. Thank you. Are there any alternate pronunciations? I don't believe so. Thank you. Andragogy. A N D R A G O G Y. Andragogy. Very good. Cat. Could I have country of origin, please? <laughs> I think it's Old English. Could I? Could you please use it in a sentence? Uh, our dog, our cat, ate a bird. Cat. C A T. <laughs> Kaylin, your next word is. Chitaroni. Chitaroni. C H I T A R R O N E. Chitarone. Correct. That's too much. Okay, next word for Matt would be house. House. H O U S E. House. Good. Kaylin, your next word is pronounced utraquedance. Utraquedance. O U T R E C U I D A N C E. Utraquedance. Very good. Your next word. The word is dubitant. Dubitant. Mm-hmm. Is that a male debutant by any chance? I don't believe so, no. Look. Matt! Oh. What are you doing? Can't she? Can you tell me what it starts with? A D? Yes. Okay. D O O B E T R A U N T Dubretant. <laughs> Sorry. Kayla, would you like to try that word? Sure. Dubetant. D U B I T A N T E. Dubaton. Good. 